Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this video, I'll explain how to divide a partition SC drive into multiple drives. So normally this will be done when you buy a new laptop where you have uh, one TB space for a C drive and you want to split it for multiple drives. So so I, I want to do that. So this is a new laptop that I bought it and uh, C drive in my computer is having around 873 GB. So I want to split it into, I want to leave C drive with 400 or so and remaining uh, uh, 400 GB, I want to split it into two drives. So let's get started and let's see how to do it. So the first step you need to do is you need to open disk management. So type here DISK management. So that's the tool that is present in control panel. So I typed here for disk management, I'm opening this when I click on this here. So you can see here it opened a tool that will show you. So this is a disk management tool that comes with um, a Windows uh, 10 operating system. So you can see here <coughs> Windows uh, C drive is having where Windows OS is there. So when I right click on this, I can see here that I don't have an option for extend volume. So uh, this is grayed out. So I need to shrink the volume. So what is the use of this shrinking volume is that, so as of now, my C drive is having almost, uh, your C drive will have your operating system, etc. So what you need to do now is, you need to safely assign some memory for the C drive. So where your operating system, etc. is there, so you need to assign up to, up to this or whatever you want. So you can assign this. And the remaining memory which you get it, you can split it into multiple drives. So I'm going to do that now. The first thing that you have to do is right click on this and select shrink volume. So when you select the option for shrink volume, so you'll see it is calculating the space. And now you can see an option here that uh, um, total size is this much. So 939 uh, GB, you can see there. And size available for shrink space is this much. So I can I can shrink to this level. So what I'll do now is size after the shrink. So I leave it, I'm not going to modify this. So I, I'm going to click on shrink. So let's see here, let me shrink this. Now I clicked on that, it'll take some time. And now you can see here, so this C drive is now taken 461 GB and I have this one which is un unallocated. So that means that this is free and I can now use it to create drives in this. So what I'm going to do now is right click on this. I can create a new volume. So let me create a new volume for this. New simple volume and let me click on next. And here I can uh, I can actually, I want to split it into two, two drives, right? So I want to create a um, M drive or N drive. So I want to create two drives here. So so for that reason, I'm not going to use the complete volume here. So I'm going to only split it into, uh, okay, I will create three volumes now. So you can see here, I'm going to put here 100 MB. Uh, normally I use it for storing uh, softwares that I download, etc. So let me put here 100. Okay, so now click on next. So now I want to give some label for this. So let me give, um, F drive for this because it will take like this. It's starting from C is already here and uh, D drive is here. So anyway, it's suggesting to give um, uh, E drive is here. You can see here for CD drive. So it's suggesting to take F drive here. So if you don't want F drive, you can change it. So you can give whatever you want. So let me leave it to F drive and I will click on next. So I'm not going to change it. I can give the name of this here. So some label I can give it. So uh, let's give here like uh, softwares or I leave it. I don't want to give any label and volume label. Let's give, okay, I'll leave it there and let me click on next. Now finish. Now you can see here, so this, I got it like uh, 98 GB. I got it here for F drive and I want to split this one into two drives now. Right, so I want to split it into 150 and 150. So right click on this, do the same process, new simple volume and click on next. And I will now split it here like 150. So let me put here 150 and click on next. And again, it will give G drive. So I'm fine with it, click on next. And I don't want to give any label for it. So the label means like it will give some name here like this. You are getting here recovery, right? So like that you can give some label here. So that's the reason why it's asking to give label. So I don't want label here. So let me remove this. And now I will do uh, click on next and I will finish it. Now you can see here. So it is now I have G drive. 
So my computer now is having C drive, F drive, G drive and this one I want to give one drive for this too. So right click on this, I can create a new simple volume and this time I want to give the full space of the complete space I want to give for a drive. So I'm not going to change it, click on next and that's fine with the hedge drive. Click on next and I don't need the volume label. Let me remove this and click on finish and that's it. We are done with this. Now you can see here it's formatting and we are all done with the complete memory. So now you can go back to see, you can go to your computer and you can see here. So refresh it now. Now my computer is having C drive with 417 GB and D drive is the recovery, D recovery drive that comes with the system. So F drive, G drive, H drive. So you can organize it now. So you can put your software downloads here. You can put some entertainment uh, extra in these. And here you can put some professional work that you do. So like this, you can split your hard drive into multiple drives so that you can be well organized. So hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more, video more videos. Thank you.